everyone. We are here today to do another artist studio tour. We are at Danko Designs. Hello. And are, oh, and there's Peter waiting for us. We're going to come, come on in. Hi, Mindy. Peter. Thank you for having us. Okay. So this is Peter's very large studio. Hi, Susan. Hi. Very large studio that we're going to learn parts of today. You guys can see all the things here. Hi, Peter. So... Let's start with, I see some chairs in the yeah, background okay. here. So talk to us about so these are chairs. Peter Danko. I've known Peter for a very long time here. He's not originally from York. So I'm, tell us. I'm from Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. I moved up here in, the, in 1995. And I love York because there's a lot of places for somebody who does what I do, there's a lot of toys. Yes. There's a lot of people who make different things, and and I can play with them. Great. And uh, these chairs here are uh, for chairs. the uh, Kent County Library in, uh, uh, in Maryland, Maryland, right? Maryland. Uh, Chestertown, Maryland. That's what I was trying to think. Cool. And I was I work with the interior designer for this color scheme. Her name is Susan Globus. Okay. And she's she's really a very good designer. You can see the color combinations are yeah it's perfect. really cool and I'm sure that the, in the installation they will be very nice and these are automobile seat belts oh so we have recycled materials yeah we have there these are uh, what's called post-industrial uh, uh, resource and okay. I, 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 I got a piece of junk mail in the early 1990s with the seat belt material and I uh, I thought that, well, this is really cool stuff, and so I found out how much it was, and it was pretty reasonably priced. Mm -hmm. And then I called the person up, and I said, well, uh, if I made a line of chairs, do you have enough so that, it, is this resource enough so that I could continue making chairs? And, and the guy said, yes, I have uh, uh, 200 million yards, million, million yards. Oh my gosh. In stock. And so, wow. and, and that was the small supplier. Now we do a, a big supplier. And this stuff all used to go into landfill. Wow. So that's, uh, that's really cool. So I started designing chairs with it, and this is one of the chairs awesome. I designed. And they say they're sold, you have these all over the place, like yeah. in different colleges yeah. and universities. My, and my biggest customer is Wake Forest University. They, um, They've been buying from me since the 1990s. They're my awesome. biggest customer. The only year that they didn't buy is this year because they canceled school, yeah. they canceled all new things, and so um, that's a little bit of a problem. Yeah, yeah, as we're all feeling that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I noticed over here, yeah, we have some paintings, so yeah. I'd love for you to talk a little bit about Yeah, these are my paintings. I do figure drawing. I've been doing it for uh, ever since 1996, mm -hmm. Susan and I decided to have a date day on a date Saturday, and we went and, and took lessons from Brenda Wintermeyer. Oh, okay, cool. And, uh, that was really cool. Yeah. And that's what got me started on it. And I've been doing it ever since. And yeah. It, I just love doing it. It's it's fun. It's really hard, and all, most of these drawings are an hour and a half. Okay, so get out of here. Wow. Uh, Very cool. Could be. Uh, and they're closed, unclosed models yes, that are yes. set up, and you go to. I am getting more and more drawing. interested in faces. Okay. Because as I tell the models, even if they're, they're standing there stark naked, I said the most intimate part of your body is your face. Yeah. Because it says everything about yeah. you. Yeah. And the rest is just equipment. Yeah. <laughs> so I like that equipment. <laughs> yeah. So so um, so I've been doing more faces. Great. And then I see some drawings in this room too. Yes. Now these I think are my as far as my two D work. I think they're 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 my best because they're they're world class because they're very spontaneous. I do them very fast. Uh, obviously, you can see it's musicians. Yes. And the drawings clearly reflect the music, and you can even pretty much tell the kind of music just by looking at the drawings. 
And as far as likeness, you can identify, in other words, if, if all these people here, you know who they are. Yeah. So, and, and I don't know how I do it because I do them really fast. None of them take longer than 15 minutes, or there's one that so took. So 15 minutes. Yeah, this That's one probably incredible. took maybe 20 or this 30. This one, okay, yeah. yeah. But still, But you, they just, they just scribble them, and uh, they just, I think I think they're, they're good. And see this guy, there's one guy, he's dancing, so you can see him dancing. Uh -huh. And uh, this guy, you can see two faces because he's moving. That's Mac White. And that was at uh, the Jazz at uh, the Strand. Okay. When they have the Jazz. Uh, yeah, they have the Jazz, okay. First Friday Jazz. Yeah, nice. So. Very nice. And then behind you. Yeah, and this is a We have a glowing cabinet, which I recognize because Peter did our, um, not only our gallery desk at Creedy Work, but he also did our cabinets and drawers in our kitchen too. So this looks very familiar to me. So yes. I'm going to talk a little bit about. Well, this is the doors. The, the the beauty of this is that these doors are uh, attached by magnets. And there's two type of doors now. There's one like this, and you can open it, and it'll stay open. Oh, nice. And then there's this one. You can open it, but it's self-closing. Nice. And so, and, and so those are two options I've developed. And the drawers are all this. The material is this. Uh, this um, Honeycomb, it's called polypropylene honeycomb material. Okay. It's, it's a, a twin wall, I guess that's probably the, the name for it, twin wall material. And what I have done is, uh, th this is very green as far as, okay. and that's that's what my work is about. You saw the seat belts over yeah. there, and you know, it's, it uses recycled materials and repurposing. Yep. And this stuff, it's like if you have a kitchen door, and this weighs, this can be measured in terms of ounces. Yeah, super light. As far light. as resources, if you compressed it, it would be like a little ball like that. Wow. Okay. So it would it uses no resources, and and polypropylene is is one of the greenest plastics there are. It's very easy to recycle, mm -hmm. and uh, it is um, as you can see, it's very attractive. Exactly. But really the cool. problem with it is closing the edges off. Oh, okay. So it's closing the edges off, and that's what I have spent years developing. Okay. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about this furniture. Yeah, first. look at this. So this All is a table, chairs. and this is a, an interesting design. I uh, about um, ten years ago, I woke up from a nap, and I saw this structure in my mind's eye. It was just there. So I got up and I went to my computer and I drew it and that's what Very it is. Cool. And so I, I wasn't planning on designing a, a table base. It just kind of was there in my brain and, and so I made it. Very cool. And this chair here yeah. is a conveyor belts. This wow. is an industrial conveyor belts. Cool. And uh, you need to sit in it, Mindy. All right, so I'm going to sit in it. Uh, sit in it, and uh, oh, this conveyor belt material is uh, <laughs> made by the, the wire mesh company and right on King Street. Okay, yep. You know those guys? Is that um, New York Wire or no? Is that a different company? Okay, okay. So those guys down by the railroad tracks. Okay. Yeah. And so they made it, and we were talking about it, and I met them, and we, I decided to make a chair. It's an expensive chair. That's the problem. Uh, was also very comfortable. You wouldn't think it's, it's comfortable looking at it. Steel and yes. You can use it outdoors. It will, it will never degrade. You can. Oh, oh, so it won't like rust or anything. Like it's. Uh, it won't rust. Yeah, that's awesome. So you can use it outside. And it won't blow away because it's heaven. Yeah, yes. yeah, it won't blow away. That's great. And then this is a chair that I've made. Yeah, look at that one. A little wing back chair. Beautiful. And it's very comfortable. And then these. This is a bar chair. Yep. That, that I've made, and this chair is very interesting here, because you remember the windows on the world at the World Trade Center? Yeah, yeah. This is this was in the restaurant. This is the original prototype for the chairs that were in the restaurant. Oh, the Windows cool. of the world. Cool. So. Um, and we have a low guy here. This is so maybe this is well. I don't know what do, you, what do you call it memorabilia or something like this or. Okay. I don't know if it has any value, but 
that's what they look like. That's awesome. And the architect was Hugh Hardy. He uh, liked this like this, and some of the chairs had this angle going this way, and some had them going that way. Okay. And he said it was like people um, talking to each other. Oh, that's neat. So <laughs> we worked together on this design, and I thought it was really fun. And I that like working fun. with Hugh Hardy. He's oh. no longer living, but he was a great guy. And uh, so we talked right. about this. Let's let's go to your uh, machine okay. that creates the um, cabinets, yes. the doors that we can take off. So I can see Peter Studio and all the it's huge. Okay, well this is this is what this material looks like inside. Okay. So it just has these flutes, or it's like this, and it really wouldn't be good for a consumer product at all, okay. even though it's very sustainable. So I developed this machine and I have spent, it. I've sweated blood on this thing, <laughs> and, but this is what it does. If you look at a close up, you can see this, this, is, this is the edge that goes on it. It's very strong and uh, it's attractive and that's, that's what this machine does. And you can, it's all computer controlled, and here's the, the, uh, the, all of the, the sequence I have okay. to do, and there's all these different controls. These are the manual controls and the speed controls, and, oh, uh, and each of this stuff you have to do, and then this goes along and, and edges the material. Awesome. Really cool. So from there, from there I've invented your... a lot of things with this. My, my idea is this material, can can replace an awful lot of forest products so that we don't have to cut down the forests of Brazil and yes. things like that. This is great. It, it, it is, uh, and it's recyclable. Now it is made from, uh, some people are really upset about plastics and, and using uh, 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 petrochemicals, uh -huh. but I, really this material is made from a long chain hydrocarbon which can be found in, of course, petrochemicals. It can be found in methane, mm -hmm. it can be found in ammonia, and there are entire planets in our solar system that are long chain hydrocarbons. So the oh. resource is more than infinite. Cool. So this is the material of the future. I know that people are down on plastics now, and I, I think part of the problem is that we're, we're very, uh, we've just, We've just discovered that there's a problem with plastics. 20 years ago, we didn't yeah. know it. Now we discovered it. But we'll figure it out, and this yeah. is part of figuring it out. Awesome. And the beauty of these panels is uh, they can be recycled, like my kitchen. Mm -hmm. it, they're, the, they're, at the end of the kitchen's useful life, there's these steel straps that are cut, and everything collapses. It can separate the wood and the plastic and mm -hmm. the metal. And, and it's really simple. Instead yeah. of putting the whole thing in landfill, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been to the, the, the dump at Toronita, yeah. and there's all these contractors sewing cabinets in there yeah. all the, all day long, and and that's just not necessary. Right, right. So, so show uh, us your latest creation, so, which is really uh, exciting. Well, there, there's one, this is one of the this is a, the, the table. And the table. Let's see. Yes. So cute. Yeah, and Susan's going to help. And Susan, so they're going to, you guys are going to demonstrate. I don't know. I think it's already in my hand. So, this is the, the well, first of all, let me talk about <laughs> this. First of all. Get this tape chair. Oh, okay. The whole point of this table, and I, as you notice, or maybe, I don't know, you can see yeah, on, I know. on Facebook, I'm tall. Yeah. I have really tall. long legs. How tall are you, Peter? That's why I look like a yeah. Yeah. So this will give this will give you scale. Peter, right what here. is what is your height? I'm about six four. Six four. Okay. So well, maybe a little less because I'm shrinking. I'm shrinking too. So, <laughs> five, five. And, and Susan's five five. Okay. Okay. But anyway, I, my legs are still long enough that I always hated expanding tables because when you get under there, there's usually this big. In other words, this would continue all the way across. Yes. And if you sit at this table, there's nothing here. You can just, uh, you know, it's yeah, you can, plenty of leg room, and, you, and it's just, it's just great. Yeah. So I wanted to design a table that's structurally sound, 
and uh, it worked very nicely. That stored the leaves, and uh, which I think in our apartments is really important. You know, yeah. oh yeah, people just don't have a space to store, you know, big, big right. leaves. Right. Yeah. So this is a nice sized table, and yeah. then you guys. Let's go this way first. Because of that. You have to put this up. Yeah, a nice apartment-sized table to a yeah. really big table. And I have this 40-pound roll that I put across here, and right in the middle here, it sags this much. Hold on. So it has very little sag to it. Got it. Like an eighth inch? No, about a sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Is, which is minimal. And then Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, I know. Yes. Holiday when we can gather again. Yes. yes. <laughs> or home office and or, homework. Yeah. Actually, yes, that's like my space at Your home. Life, home yeah. office is a dining room table. <laughs> and the last thing I want to show you is my uh, my panels. These are uh, the panels from those holocore panels and we uh -huh. talked about them being very versatile and can be used for many things. So uh, there's magnets in these panels, and this is how you you can take them off like this, and uh, wow. just like that. Easy. And you can see it's pretty amazing. You take this, and that's how you hang them. It's just Very it's cool. really simple. And this, I'm assuming you take this as like a display when you go to like trade shows. Yeah, and stuff. You go to trade shows. We've done that many yeah. times. Let's do it. Let's make a call. Okay. Why don't you pull it toward, toward, I don't know, keep going. No, I was going to do it so that the dangle was out. What the dang? Susan, <laughs> hold your bird. Woo! Okay. That's right. That's how not to do it. <laughs> but you guys can see how all the pieces were connected. No, I wanted to show you. I wanted to show oh, look. you. Oh, look. Here. You're going to do like a tower? Is that what you guys are doing? Or Peter said column. I'm calling it tower because I'm used to hearing about princess things all the time. <laughs> Let's go on the bottom. Yeah. Well. So. It's great. Uh, but the, the the idea is that 
you can do this so much faster. You don't have, you can carry these into a trade show versus uh, having to ship all of your wooden parts and your, you know, heavy pieces, which is very expensive to yeah. do it, especially uh, for uh, con uh, conventions and trade shows that have uh, 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 union carpenters and labelers, yeah. you know, and, and people that show up things uh, to your booth. Great. So, well, this is wonderful, guys. Thanks. Thank you uh, for letting us. Okay, and there's a little speech. bit of drama there. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fine. Well, we have to show you. It's all natural. You know, that we are. No, nobody is. Way not nobody is. Well, but I guess the so important thing about it is it collapses like that and no harm is done. Yeah. Exactly. No one was injured. It's lightweight material yeah. and the, the product is fine as well. That's right. So, perfect. Well, thanks, thanks Mindy.